It is a dangerous thing to try to set new goals based on old pain. All right. Um, there are a lot of us who want to move on from different situations that we have experienced in our lives, whether that is a breakup, whether that is being fired from a job, whether that is um, a health issue that we're trying to move on from, whatever it is. Sometimes we set goals based on fear. And even though we're setting goals to do a new thing, it's based on a fear of something that we want to leave behind. But what ends up happening is that we're actually carrying that fear into the new thing. And that's why the goal now seems like it is so hard to accomplish because what we're doing is we're not approaching that goal from a place of possibility, right? We're not approaching that goal from a place of positivity. We're approaching the goal from the place of our pain. And one of the things that I teach the people that I partner with to do is to really get on the inside and deal with those things because those things are just as important, if not more important, than the, the steps and the strategy that you're going to use to get toward your goals. If you've tried to do a simple thing such as, I don't know, joining a new gym membership, you know, you go ahead and you make the payment, but for some reason you can't actually get to the gym. You can't actually get into the gym. You have all the gym clothes, you have set aside the time, but for some reason you're not doing it because there are other factors that are playing against you actually starting the thing and keeping the momentum of the thing that you're trying to do, right? So if you don't deal with those other factors, it doesn't matter that you've paid for six months of a gym membership if you're not going to go based on these other things that are stealing your time and stealing your attention and stopping you from doing what it is that you want to do. So setting goals is not just about um, making sure that they're measurable and making sure that you have systems in place where you can check on check up on yourself those things are important as well but we also deal need to deal with the mindset factors and we need to deal with the psychological factors we need to need to deal with emotions and all these things that come up in the goal setting process right so it's not just about facts it's not just about doing these five things or doing these 10 things and then all your dreams are gonna tr come true. There is so much that factors into this. But one thing I really wanna drive home to you is that you cannot take your past with you. So really examine yourself and examine the goals that you are setting and ask yourself, am I doing this because of fear? And it is fine to set a goal because you no longer want to be in pain. You no longer want to um, be in a certain situation again. It could be a financial goal where you you know, you went to the grocery store and you couldn't pay for the stuff that you wanted to pay for and you had to put stuff back and that was embarrassing and it was distressing and you never want to be in that place again. I definitely understand. Yes, you set your goal, but you set your goal based on what is possible. And that simple shift, I say simple, but it's not easy. That simple shift in your mindset is going to be the difference between whether you fail or whether you succeed at that goal. So when you're moving on from the pain of your past, remember, we are setting our goals based on possibility and not based on our pain. Because if you set goals based on your pain, you are guaranteed to take the pain with you into your future and we're not trying to create a painful future we're trying to create a future a future that is full of possibility and full of prosperity all right i hope that helped blessings on your journey